mesmerizing, mysterious, and sometimes menacing. Jellyfish have swum the seas for millennia. These humble blobs, says one Japanese scientist, possess the holy grail of all miracles. For centuries, mankind has sought the elixir for eternal life. And here, in a quiet beach town in central Japan, scientist Shin Kubota says he's discovered the fountain of youth in an ocean of jellyfish. Good thing that, good, ah. Oh, there he is, how cute one microscopic species in particular. Instead of dying, the so-called immortal jellyfish, or turritopsis, can grow young again, and again, and again, rejuvenating itself. The only animal able to cheat death. Ten times uh, rejuvenate within two years. So it can live forever, I think. Forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When the Turritopsis jellyfish is stressed out, you're poking it, poking it with needles, doesn't this hurt? Like when it's sick, or in this case, being stabbed with pins, it ages in reverse. This jellyfish has come back 11 mm -hmm. times already, mm -hmm. and it's going to come back mm -hmm. for the 12th time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The jellyfish folds up, and then, Benjamin Button style, re-emerges as a youthful polyp, bound for adulthood. For 62-year-old Kubota, who has survived a stroke, studying and painstakingly caring for immortal jellyfish is as much personal quest as professional calling. I want to become young in the future. Uh, I want to rejuvenate. You want to rejuvenate yes. yourself? Yes. So you think by studying these jellyfish, yes, yes. you yourself can become younger? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> but hang on to your tentacles. Al Dove, research director of the Georgia Aquarium, says spineless, brainless animals don't have much to offer us homo sapiens. The bad news is on the tree of life, jellyfish are about as far away from people as it's possible to be. So the chances that this adaptation is going to be easily transferred to humans through, say, genetic engineering is pretty remote or at least a long, long way off. Oh. This is a jellyfish. So we got one. Skeptics may scoff, but Kubota says the lesson of the everlasting jellyfish, even for humans, is clear. The sunset of life could mean just the beginning.